Greetings everybody. It's good to be back with you today. Our story today is about several Jewish leaders and rabbis who are on a search for what was once the Garden of Eden. For centuries many well-known scholars have said that they think that they have pinpointed the location of this garden known as Eden. Let's check in with these guys and see what they're up to today. Today we are setting out on a quest that many have gone before us. But no one has been able to be successful in finding this Garden of Eden talked about in the Holy Scriptures. After reviewing and spending hours and several years of study, I believe that we may indeed have the general location of the once famous Garden of Eden. So, my friends, I want you to come on this wonderful journey today as we explore the possibilities of where this wonderful garden is located. Oh yes, also we do want to locate the Tree of Life, so that we can live forever. Alright everyone, please be seated. According to my navigation I find that this location should be in the following whereabout. The location of Eden is described in the book of Genesis as the source of four tributaries. Various suggestions have been made for its location, at the head of the Persian Gulf, in southern Mesopotamia where the Tigris and Euphrates rivers run into the sea and in Armenia. So this is the area, as you can see by the map behind me that we will be searching for this interesting part of our history. Now I do want you to keep in mind that many have tried this journey and failed, for one reason or another. But we feel very confident that our journey will be one of great discoveries and awesome wonders. I do want to thank all of you that came out for our news conference. This indeed is an exciting time for Israel and all the surrounding areas and countries. But there is one problem developing with these other countries. That is that everyone want a part of this expedition. So, the countries are not open to the idea of strangers coming into their country. This group of scientists and scholars have devoted all their life to the study of the Garden of Eden. We will now hear from John and Martin about their area of study about this. Hello everyone, I'm Martin. I have for the last 10 years been working on getting the permits and finding out what the fees and cost would be for our expedition into these countries. We've also negotiated with the leaders to see if we find artifacts that can be used to study more of the people of this time period. You could say that in the last 5 years we've gone through a mountain of red tape. Yet I'm here today to say that we have agreed to terms on coming in and working to find what we can for the entire world to enjoy, what we find. I want to thank you for coming to this news conference today. Well, it's been two years since our group has set out to find the Garden of Eden. No matter what they came up empty and being so weary from their travels and feelings of hopelessness. This group dove back into the Bible. But this time John finds himself going into what's called the apocalyptic literature of the Bible. Two of the famous books for that is both Daniel and Revelation. Let's go back to another news conference to hear what they discover. I know that a lot of you were disappointed, just imagine how we felt after spending all the time we did looking at the Bible. After we got back and all of us were disappointed, I had a thought come to me to look at the apocalyptic writings of the Bible. One of the most interesting one is the book of Revelation. Which in my family line from centuries ago was the Apostle John, who happens to be a relative of mine. As I began to look and dive into this book, I found where the new Garden of Eden and the Tree of Life will be. In the new heaven and earth that God is recreating at the end of time. Revelation says, in Revelation chapter 22 talks about the new Eden being restored. This is the new heaven and new earth talked about in Revelation 21. In Revelation 22, it shows the tree of life in the new Eden. Which this tree is for the healing of the nations. Will be located in the new city of Jerusalem. And the start of the 1000 millennial reign of God. Read the entire book of Revelation and keep an open mind to what is coming in the near future. Whoa! That's what I'm going to do. I want to read this book and find out more about what God is going to do. 
also how we can spend eternity with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Until next time, keep following Jesus and living for Him.